Hey guys, Zom Fox here. Remember a couple weeks ago when we talked about the how a USL insider for the Breakers said that the USL was in talks to try and get a stadium deal for the New Orleans Breakers? Well, turns out it was true. The caveat, it wasn't Yeoman Stadium like we all expected. It's a different one. Let's get right into it. Now, while the USL may have tried to play at Yeoman Stadium and, you know, have talks with Tulane about it, the one we know for sure now is actually Metairie's Shrine on Airline Stadium. Well, this is a place that is completely out of left field, which is kind of ironic because it used to be a baseball field. This used to be where the New Orleans Zephyrs played in, you know, AAA baseball. But in the past few years, it's really only been used for the NOLA gold of the rugby league. But there has been high school football going on there recently, and they are trying to now renovate it as well. They have just actually gotten an agreement to have a $15 million renovation to make it go to being a soccer slash football stadium. Now, the stadium currently holds about 10,000 people, so either the renovation could keep it the same or increase it a bit, which naturally, 10 to 15,000 is a great number to have for a spring football stadium. It would essentially allow for sellouts almost every single week and is a great thing. Now, the reason we actually get to talk about this is because instead of it being rumors, when ta- interviewed about it and all that, Kyle Franz, who's on the bo- who is the board chair of the Louisiana Stadium and Exposition District, straight up said that the USFL has been in talks with them about having a team at the Shrine, that being the New Orleans Breakers. They've also had talks with you know the USL, the United Soccer League, to have a team there. But the big one is the fact that they are in talks to have the Breakers play there. Metairie is very close to New Orleans. It's less than a 20-minute drive. So this is a really, really cool thing that just came completely out of nowhere. Now, the only issue, and there is one issue, the Breakers might not get to play there till 2026. The reason that's an issue is because the renovation is slated to start early 2024. Now, we don't know for sure, but... Scott Walker, a councilman, did say that it would probably take 18 months to complete. So if we're being generous, we could say that it starts in January of 2024. That is in the first quarter. It's just really early in it. Now, 18 months is a year and a half. And if the merger does or doesn't happen, that would still put it to being completed around June or July of 2025. So the only issue with this is that if it were to take that long to finish, the Breakers wouldn't be able to play there until 2026. So that's the only caveat to it. But overall, this is some really cool news and is honestly great. It's showing that the USL is trying to get talks to have a stadium for at least the Breakers. The only issue, as I said, being that it would be so long away. So either A, they could maybe get to play at Yeoman for a couple seasons, or B, they just have to pretty much stay in Birmingham for a couple of years until they're actually able to move to the shrine. That's the one caveat with it. But hopefully that gets, you know, finished or whatever, or maybe they just play while it's being renovated because it's mainly the stands being done and all that. We'll see. The fact is that this is great news for spring football and spring football fans, and especially you Breakers fans. I know a lot of you guys watch this stuff. So great news for you guys. This has been Zom Fox. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified as soon as any news comes out regarding the merger, different teams, as well as just any old content. And as always, have a great night.